Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. Unfortunately, I kind of lost the first three minutes of this episode. Uh, basically, it's me just looking over all the things and uh, and approaching the fort. Then we attack it. That's it. We didn't really miss. You didn't really miss anything. That that's about it. But unfortunately, this game has an auto save feature, which is just infuriatingly bad. But I just keep going. <laughs> so we attack the fort. Nilfgaardiers are in there. Big surprise! And this is a short battle. Regiment Drummer. I kinda like those guys. A lot. Maybe we kick this. Jesus Christ! Stop with the strays of Spala! Oh my! What a start! Order. Wait, what? Gascon betrayed us? Oh, Duke of Dogs? Really? Huh. Wait. Every two turns on third start, destroy a random Nilf Garden ally. If me passes, move to the other side of the battlefield. So they are with us! They're helping us. <clears throat> okay. So they are with us. Uh, I can just play the Illyrian Sightman and do nothing for now. A time to sow, and a time to die. Gascon went in and he opened the gates. That's the story. And of course, we're suspecting a traitor here, but it seems like Gascon is not it. We gotta set fire to the back row. Random new guardian ally. Alright. Let's fire to let's set fire to the back. Just way too good. And we gotta play some drummers. <clears throat> mm, I got oh, a lot of blitz units. Stray's Infiltrator. Yeah, I don't use these guys at all. Mainly because they're situational and they're like a one use thing. <clears throat> what? Okay. A few drummer. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Mm. Would that just. After one turn on turn start. I just keep hitting the guys. And try to get out some units from the deck because I'm not... The thing is it's random. So, can't really hope to get something specific. And Gascon is gonna come to my side when I pass. So he walked up to the gates and he said, hey, what's up? We didn't see and he opened the gates. Maybe that's gonna... Lead to uh, some suspicion. Game? This guy's taking so long. Okay, the drummer. Right over here. Think about slings, they hide well. I'm gonna copy of this unit. Sure. And the back is dying. And we should be able to use the flail. Next turn. Yep. The thing is... Will I change my deck? I don't really know. I I'm okay with playing this deck, but... Damn, we just beat everyone. I was kind of hoping to update my deck, but apparently we are not gonna do that. If 
fire animation looks a little odd. And this guy's taking so long. Life is mine now. True, why? Mm. Nice. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Again and again and again. Fine. And if you get uh, Lyria and High Duke, you can just uh, place it between these two. Of course, we kind of have to be careful not to use too many units, but it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna win by points alone. But why are you taking so long? What is his ability even? Nerve Guardian Scout? Oh my god, every four turns on third star, draw a card if you're losing. Oh my god. That's why he's. Uh, that's why he has a card advantage. Fine. Damn. My spirit's willing and how the damn bones are killing me. Oh, I managed to block it. Sure. Oh, we gotta play uh, a waste drummer. time for one like me. <clears throat> Damn. You just built a healer. Uh decent points. Decent points. He's, he's kind of keeping up for some reason. I can Royal Decree out two Blitz units, which would be... Uh, well, I only have three Blitz units in the deck, so... It's not gonna be too hard to figure out. Oh my god, another Nerf Guardian Commandant. Not too bad. But not the best if he's losing points. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to. Yeah, I would have loved to do that, but I guess. Uh, pointy end upwards, right? Left, right. Left. Right. No. I don't have enough space. Gascon is not gonna come back because I don't have enough space now. Also, I can't play Isabel hit the healer. What is this? I need to destroy my own units. But I can't. My units are too big. Uh, can't really target the knight. Anything that that can be killed in two hits? No, nothing. Sure. Uh, fine. Should make the knights a lot weaker. Uh, we can just play Isabel. It's not too late to walk away. He's pretty good. Knights are still getting a lot weaker. Duke of Dogs is not dead. Might as well be. A Royal Decree. You can dump the Royal Decree. Uh, they do the heals. And pass. Then we can Lirio Merlot last turn. 33 points. Maybe 34. Maybe even more than that. Ah! 41 actually. Oh, 50. Never mind that. Yes. Don't kill the Duke of Dogs. He's not gonna come back. He can't come back <laughs> because we don't have space. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna die. One well. red lobbington for you, my lady. Compliments to the house. <laughs> we survived it. We didn't have space.
Gascon seemed a fiend as he fought his way to the keep, then single-handedly killed the commander. Suddenly, wow. leaderless, the Nilfgaardians laid down their arms. I'm not sure that's how it exactly went down. My, my, Gascon. Color me surprised. Pleasantly so, I trust. Don't fish for compliments, it doesn't suit you. Besides, you know you deserve both medal and title. <laughs> I shall hold you to it, my queen. In due course. But I must know how. What ruse persuaded the North Guardians to open the gate? Come, come. My delightful charms, no ruse. Ah, oh, I see. Not one to share secrets. Unremarkable, as I see it. <laughs> I hold my tongue too, were my conscience thus burdened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I would like to hear him. What, what did you tell him? I've done now to hide my shameful past, friend. I was a brigand, indeed, yet. Do not dare take me for a fool. You know of what I speak. Yet I don't. Reynard, what is this? What the devils is with you? Your Grace, in Mahakam, the Nilfgaardian letter we managed to intercept. Consider your offer accepted. Direct Meave and her force to the agreed site. We await their arrival. Your reward shall be as agreed. It was Gascon who told us Caldwell had received Angren to rule. It was Gascon who suggested we ride for Lobindon. Well, if this is an ambush, it must be a really crappy one. Here, the Blackclads willingly opened the gate, for they expected him to deliver a prisoner. You! Yeah, but... Then why would he... It, it, it doesn't quite add up, Reynard. No, I, I don't believe it. I don't... I don't believe this. No, it, it cannot be. Come on. Deny it, Gascon. Go on. Tell me I'm wrong. Do you require any more proof, Your Grace? What do they promise you? Amnesty? Coin in heaps? Ah, uh, both. I knew Nilfgaard wouldn't parley with me as a matter of course. To be treated seriously, I needed something they valued. A stroke of luck, it was, the chance to free you from Coldwell's grip. What? It was in Edern that we first spoke. Then came to an understanding after Rosberg's fall. Why do I still live then? Why not snatch me under Knight's mantle? Drag me to Red Lobindon in chains? Leave. I sought to sell you out. I did. And aimed to gain by it. Yet in Edern, you earned my respect. In Mahakam, my admiration. I swore then. I wouldn't follow the terms of the accord I'd made. Instead, I'd let you into the fort and make damn sure the Commandant couldn't reveal the truth. Alas, seems I underestimated Reynard. Well, okay. <clears throat> well, good catch, Reynard, I, I guess. I mean... I I definitely see your logic, and of course it adds up, but still. Bit of a conflictive information here. Gascon, I don't know what to do about this. Flattery will get you nout. You, sir, are a traitor. Oh, please, friend. You appear to me a pot that calls the kettle black. Whoa, what is he talking about? Reynard? What does he mean? I've no notion, Your Grace. Not the slightest. Truly? <laughs> and I had you pegged for a man of honor. Come now, Reynard. Who sent secret missives to Willem? Go on, you really should tell your queen. What? Reynard? His Highness guest chambers in Mahakam. One of my lads snuck in. Found a letter bearing the signature of one Reynard Odo. Reynard, I beg you. Say it's not so. Tell me it's a filthy lie. Uh, I, uh, Your Grace. I'd hoped His Highness and you would reconcile. To see son stand against mother rent my heart. I, 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 I wish to help. Come on, Reynard. Come on. What is this? Behind my back. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't trust anybody. Your Majesty. I sought merely to push the youth to see reason. To open his eyes. So say you now. Yet I can't know what was in the letters. I can't know what pacts you made. And alas, 
I can no longer take you at your word. I'm not alone in having deceived. Yet I am in repairing my wrong. Me felt a tempest rise inside her. Yet she could not release it lest it cloud her view. She would solve the problem, strike it from her mind, and resume her journey at once. I should look past these betrayals this once. I no longer wish to see you, Gascon. Out of my no, I will look past both of these betrayals. For now. Oh my god, out of my sight both. No, 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 let's do it. Drawn and quartered, I should have you both. Yet in truth, I cannot do without your aid. Now more than ever. Tis the one reason I show mercy and forgive. That's not a good way to put it. Your Grace, perhaps made with doubt, but tis the right decision. I shall prove it. Thank you. I need you. Those, you guys are very valuable in my team. I can't kick you out. What? I can't just put in more regular dudes. Reynard and I rarely see eye to eye. But under the circumstances, I second his every word. Oh, shut your damn traps. And I believe you're needed in the wagon train. The Queen's wish was clear and fierce. Gascon and Reynard slid off, leaving Meave to her thoughts. From the Palisades rampart, Meave gazed out over the marshlands across the Aruga. The Queen sighed deeply. She expected great challenges in Angren. She had also expected, even hoped, to find the one traitor in her midst. But two, and both her close aides de camp. She felt a weight upon her heart now. Blasted all, she muttered. Not the first dagger I've taken in the back. Likely not the last either. Yet to pity my lot will help not at all. From the captive Nilfgaardians, Meave learned Caldwell was a Tuzla castle, in Angren's very heart. A small detachment would remain at Red Lobinden, while the Queen, with the rest of her force, set off to face the treacherous Count. Mom, I must speak to you when you find a free moment. What? To Captain Caldwell, Duke Ardal, whatever. Your request to return to Lyria has been rejected. I agree with your argument that King Willem requires the support of an experienced politician. That is why I shall advise him uh, should the need arise. For now, your talents are more useful in Angren. As you know, the Emperor depends on the rapid delivery of building materials to our shipyards. I advise you to, to make <clears throat> the fulfillment of his wishes your top priority. Delays are unacceptable. I'll do my best. Oh my god. People are betraying me left and right, and I have forgive them! Because I need people! I'll keep a close eye on him, Mom. Don't you fret. Where's this guy? Yeah, zip it. More stuff that I cannot do anything with. Great. No two ways to it. Charming this county the black clads Wait. granted Coldwell to rape. Yes, a gift so lovely Coldwell could not refuse. At Dahi, it seems, wished to be rid of the Count, so as to rule Lyria alone. I do wonder why they quarreled. Coldwell wished to rule by Willem's hand, and by his claim. Of little benefit to Nilfgaard, so the General disapproved. As do I, by all means. Well, apparently, um... Uh, everybody wants to talk to me, apparently. Jesus. But she wants to talk Mom, to me the most? it's good you're here. We ought to speak. Yes? Concerning what? I've spent time with your troops. Dressing their wounds, treating them. They respect you greatly. Would follow you into any fire, any flood. Happy to hear it. They're good folk, one and all. Yes, precisely. In fact, too good to die in a senseless war. Oh my god. So? Not certain I understand. The Imperial Army's enormous. Just how enormous we know, both. Had you all the Norse kings at your side, victory would still be unsure. Yet you fight alone. No well you cannot rely on them. 
You make a good point, this bell. No! This these are my only choices? Holy shit, Leave. Ah. Oh. I don't know. She's just stating facts. We are... Yeah, even if we were united, it would be damn hard. But we're not united. Please don't lecture me. No, 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 I don't want to discourage input. You underestimate me? I don't know. Agreed. Nilfgaard's far better equipped and greatly outnumbers us. Yet, though try, they cannot be everywhere at once. They've stretched their forces thin, too thin. An error I aim to exploit. You may be right. I hope you are. The lives of those you lead depend on it. Hmm. You're proud, persistent, and sure of yourself. Just as I was at your age. It may work in your favor. Only time can tell. Meanwhile, how might I help? You want to speak to me? You wish to speak with me? In private? Yes, ma'am. I've given thought to certain matters. The time's come to explain and reveal my decisions. I've not been entirely honest. But I've seen you very much deserve the truth. Oh my god, another liar! That would be so surprising. You're brave, wise, and above all, you've a good heart. And thus, you're unlike any other ruler I've ever met, had dealings with. Isabel, what is it you wish to say? You're starting to worry me. I told you of Sintra and Sodden. Do you recall? It's true, I took part in that war. Yet, I fought for the Empire. What? I'm not certain I understand. My name is Isabel Epmuirmus, of Nilfgaard. I wish I could say I am from a conquered province. I wish I had that luxury. But no. I hail from the city of the Golden Towers itself. Please continue. <laughs> I heard enough be gone. Oh my god. My. I'd certainly not expected that. Please, tell me more. The thing is, if you don't have an open mind, or I don't know, if you judge people for who they were, Instead of who they are, I'm not even sure, like, well, I'm, I'm not even saying you should judge them for who they are. But if, if you judge them, then you should judge them for who they are, not who they were. I think that's just a total big, big thing. And that way, people can never tell you anything. They can't tell you who they were in the past if you judge them for it. Like, really? So, no. That didn't even occur to me. Just just tell me the story. I went straight from the academy to the army, as majors do in Nilfgaard. Yet I truly believed our aim to be to build a better world. With our help, the mages, the Emperor conquered realm after realm, right up to the Amal Mountains. Yet he was not sated, and turned his greedy eyes to the north. But the North stood and faced him. I'll never forget the bloodbath he wrought in Sintra. It was unspeakable. He sought to intimidate us. He united us instead. Indeed. At Sodden, when chaos engulfed the Imperial Army, I saw my chance to flee the madness and begin life anew. And I did just that. I never sought thereafter to rejoin my countrymen or return to my home. Instead, I stayed in the north and swore never again to use my magic to harm others. Yet I cannot stand idle as the Emperor perpetrates atrocity after atrocity. I wish to fight at your side. Like what? Like actually killing people? You're welcome to stay. All deserve a second chance. Yet from now on, there are to be no more secrets between us. Certainly. I thank you. You've no idea what this means to me. Good. Oh, and Isabel. This must stay between us alone. For your own sake. <laughs> 
I appreciate the concern, ma'am, but you needn't worry about me. I've lived for some time in the north, and dare say I know how to get by. Okay. Is Bill the destroyer? Holy crap. Wait. Farewell. Duty calls. I must go. Of course. Should you need me, I'll be. Do you want to fight for me? Okay, let's check this out. How we do this? <clears throat> Wait. We lost Isbel the healer who was ridiculous. Damage enemies at random by the total damage taken during this battle. Oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But that's probably worse than the healer, because uh, that gave us a lot of boost. But that's still pretty damn good. So, yeah. I'm on board. With either of them. If, if we could have both, now that would be really sweet. I wonder if, like, having a chat with others would unlock their special powers. Maybe. But... I'm not feeling like going for more chats right now. I can go for a battle. Are we gonna fight like Drowners non-stop here? I don't know what that is. I don't love the swamp, I have to say. It just... It's really hard to navigate. So far, <clears throat> Mahakam is definitely my favorite. These things are disgusting. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.